tired of spending way too long making YouTube thumbnails, what if AI could handle it in minutes and make it look amazing? Today, I'm showing you Pexels AI, a killer tool that cranks out pro-level YouTube thumbnails fast. Whether you are a newbie or a pro, this tool's got your back. Let's jump in to see how Pexels AI can make your thumbnails pop and boost your clicks. All right, let's get to it. Link is in the description. Once you have clicked on that and you have signed up for an account, you'll be taken over to the dashboard. Now here you can see on the top right current balance that I have. You can add more credits to this by clicking over here, choosing a credit and then clicking on buy now. On the top left, there is this button. If you click this, you can see it looks similar to chat GPT. How chat GPT has this on the left. This is exactly like it. Now I can click on new chat and it's going to open up again this on the right and now inside this the first option is thumbnail you can just give it a prompt and it's going to make a thumbnail out of it this takes in 10 grades out of your total balance so each thumbnail is going to take in 10 grades now these are some of the helpful prompts that they give and maybe i want to use this but i'm not able to stop it so what you can do is open up chat gpt and then click on your windows icon and go for snipping tool if you find an example prompt that you like click on new and then copy this small part like this. Now go over to chat GPT and inside here, click on this first one, which is attach files, upload from computer. And I'm going to select this first uh, screenshot that I got from this pixels is going to be inserted here. Now in message, I'm going to type in make similar prompts like this picture. Now it's going to give you a lot of similar prompts that looks similar to this one. Now, if you like any of them, for example, I like the third one, I can just select all of this from chat gpt and go back to pexels right click paste it over here see that was simple now i can just click on generate and it's going to generate a thumbnail for us let's check it out and now there you go the ai has created a thumbnail over here and maybe you do not like it for example i do not like it so i can just click on redo here and it's going to take in 10 credits again and there you go it looks much better than this last one. Now, if you still do not like it, you could keep redoing it. Or if you do not like something inside this, you can just click on edit and describe what you want changed inside that thumbnail and then click on generate. It is going to generate a thumbnail for you again. Now I'm going to show you some of the examples that I've made using pixels. Watch. Now, one more I did here was uh, this Sonic version. And I asked it to make a front view of Sonic. It did it. Now I tried to do a redo of it and it generated this. This looks so much better than these last ones. And this one is really high quality. Now you can just use it for a documentary on Sonic game or something. I tried a redo of this model again and it generated this. This also looks quite good. And then I asked it again on this to change Sonic to Tails and it changed it exactly like that how cool is that now the next option of pixels is recreate next to thumbnail we have recreate what you can do with recreate is paste a link to a youtube video which has a thumbnail on it which you like and you want to recreate that thumbnail you can do that you can also upload that thumbnail photo if you have it which i'm going to show you how to get it next you can just upload it here now you need a vidIQ extension which i highly recommend in order to continue forward. It's a free tool for this next process and I highly recommend this tool. You will find the link in the description. Now head over to YouTube, find a thumbnail that you want to recreate. For example, I'm going to search for Mr. Beast and I'm sure you know who Mr. Beast is. They make quite good thumbnails. I'm going to go to his channel and go to videos next. I have the extension installed on my Chrome browser with IQ Vision for YouTube. Once you install it, is going to be inside this puzzle icon. You can scroll down, find the vidIQ extension, and then pin this by clicking over here, and it's going to pin it to your extensions tab over here. Now head back to YouTube and find a thumbnail that you want to recreate. For example, let's just take the first one that they have over here. Let's click on it. And now I'm going to show you the power of vidIQ extension. So on the right, we're going to find this vidIQ extension open up. And inside it, if you scroll down, you'll find this thumbnail over here, you can click on it and you can download it from here. But the best part about vidIQ extension is that if you see on the left, you're going to find their A-B testing thumbnails as well. 
the thumbnail changes, which is really good. So instead of using this thumbnail, you can just go for this one or this one. So what I'm going to do is download all three of these thumbnails and let's check it out on Pexels. Now head back to Pexels and inside it, recreate. Let's click on upload and upload file. Now I'm going to upload that main thumbnail of that video, which is uploaded here. Now there's inspiration rate. You can go for low, medium, and high. I'm going to show you what it does. If you go for high, it's going to be exactly like this thumbnail. It's just going to make some small changes while recreating it. And you can also make changes to this thumbnail when it's recreated. For example, I can say, instead of the people in the background, I can put another image there or something else. But for this, I'm just going to keep it empty and generate. It's going to take in 10 credits out of our total balance. So let's generate this. Now it has created a thumbnail here and this looks like a female instead of male, but that's fine. Now I can switch from high to medium and show you what it does. Here, here I did a face swap, put my own face on it, but you can do so by clicking on this button. It's going to take in three credits and change the face of the person that is closest. This is what it created for medium. I'm going to go for low and show you what it does. Now I clicked on low and it recreated this thumbnail again. This one looks a lot better compared to the first one, which is this. This looks like an entirely new thumbnail that is created with AI. Now I can just face swap it, click on here and put my own image here and generate. It's going to take in three credits out of your total balance. And there you go. My face has been face swapped on this thumbnail and it looks quite good. Now you can download this thumbnail to your computer by clicking on this button over here. Now I'm going to upload another thumbnail of Mr. Beast, that second one, and choose high here, generate. So as you can see, it has recreated that thumbnail and I can click on medium and see what it does. And there you go. It has recreated it again from the first one. And I can click on low and it's going to make it more different to the first one and the second one like this. Now I can just face swap or edit something inside it. For example, I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to say something like add a dragon in the background. Click on generate and there you go. It has added that dragon in the background. It does not look like an actual dragon. It's like the dragon balloon that they use in ch uh, Chinese culture, that sort of thing. Now I can just recreate any thumbnail on YouTube by using this feature over here. Just find a thumbnail that you like, put the YouTube videos link or just download it through the vidIQ extension and find the AB testing thumbnails as well, which is really cool. And then you can just upload it here and then just make changes to it. Now I'm going to show you some of the examples of the recreations that I've done before. Watch. Now next up on Pexels dashboard, we have face swap. This is what we have done in recreate as well. We face swapped my own face on top of that thumbnail. So inside it, you can see thumbnail here. You can upload a thumbnail and then you can add a face on top of it by uploading it here. Upload a file and I'm going to add my own face here. Once done, I'm going to click on generate. And there you go. It has added my own face on top of the Mr. Beast thumbnail. Now, if you're completely satisfied with the result, you can download it from here. Now, instead of long form, what if you want to create short form thumbnails? On the bottom left, you're going to find this format, click on it, and then switch from long form to short form. Now, if I click on here in thumbnail and add a prompt and generate, and there you go, it has created a really good short form thumbnail. Now let's talk about pricing of pixels. You can start off for free. You can generate your first five thumbnails for free. No credit card is required. Make sure to click the link in the description to head over to this page and start for free. And if you do decide to buy one of these plans in future, it may help me with a small commission. Here it says minus 30%. This is because I've selected annually here. If I select monthly, it's going to remove that effect and you're going to have to pay a higher price if you switch to monthly. So this is $20 per month for essential plan and it goes all the way up to $80 per month for the ultimate, which I'm currently on. But in ultimate, this is probably the best one out of all of these because you're getting a lot more features and credits in ultimate. 
all your generations remain private and they're not going to use it for marketing purposes. In premium, they do not keep it private so they can use it for marketing purposes if they want to. All these other features are available inside premium. And like here, it says increases monthly for these two plans. So your credits, if you keep subscription on, after two months, you're going to get 1,300 credits instead of 1,000 credits that way. So yes, that's it. This is the pricing of Pexels. And if you ask me, I would suggest going at least with the premium plan instead of the essential plan. In essential, you're not getting much. In premium, you're getting most of the features. And if you, if you have the... Uh, and if you have the budget, go for the ultimate plan, because in this, you're also getting early access to all new features and all your generations remain private, which is really good. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description, head over to this page, try it for free by clicking on this button. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. And these are the type of generations you can do with Pexels. Let me know in the comments what type of thumbnail are you thinking of creating using Pexels AI? If you found the tutorial helpful, check out the playlist on the right. It's all the AI tools that I've reviewed till now. I'm sure you'll find them valuable. See you there.